Homestead has played its final regular season basketball game as a member of the Northeast Hoosier Conference. The Spartans heading into the SAC next year. And in girls hoops, the Spartans two wins away from joining a new conference as state champions. Homestead at Crown Point for its first ever basketball 4A semi-state game. Looks like everyone will avoid making the trip across state. Homestead down in the first quarter, but three-pointers changing that quickly. Josie Fisher to Krista McLaughlin. There's one. Madison Parker to Savannah Buck. There's two. Grace Garman hit an old-fashioned three-point play to tie it. This basket by Garman puts Homestead up in front. Sparty up 15-13 after one. Second quarter, McLaughlin just owning things. She teamed up with Grace Garman for six easy points. Now steal and a lay-in for the sophomore. And then before the half, Lindley Kistler gets going. Three of her five points. Spartans up 32-23 at the half. Final minute of quarter number three. Josie Fisher, Grace Garman out to Carissa McLaughlin. She shot seven threes, connected on five of them. Homestead with its biggest lead, 15. Up 12 after three. Maryville made a run. Rod Parker said he knew they would. Maryville's Erica McClinton here. 14-0 run. Pirates down one, 49-48. Senior Josie Fisher not going home after this one, though. Fisher ends the drought. She had 19. Big play on defense. Savannah Buck gets plowed over. Charging call there. Pirate coach can't believe the whistle was blown. Then Buck will seal it after the charge. Draining this one from downtown. Grace Garman had a double-double in this one. Homestead's headed to Indianapolis. 66-52 the final today over Maryville. Very honorable with it being my senior year. You know, we've worked hard for it all season, so it's kind of a big deal. They definitely went on a run, and coach told us at halftime that if they did that, we just needed to stay composed and weather the storm. And we came down and hit some big shots that gave us a steady lead going into the final minutes. You know, we just tell each other all the time, next play. We have to stay calm, don't get, oh, don't get freaked out, just take it one step at a time. And, you know, Savannah hit that big charge, and then me coming down and hit that three, it's gave all momentum back. No basketball team from Homestead has ever gone this far in the postseason and just to be the first team to do it and to be dreaming about it all season and thinking about it, it's just, it's so surreal that it actually happened. Spartans still have one more net they hope to cut down. They'll face Columbus North next Saturday in Indy at about 8.15 that night.